Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you two tricks that I've used, um, you know, while I've been sewing cloth pads. Um, the first one is how I do pattern placement without having a clear pattern template. So a lot of um, people will recommend when you start sewing pads to trace your pattern onto a clear cutting mat or something like that. And that's definitely a good idea. Um, I have never been able to find those clear cutting mats. So what I do is when I cut a pattern out, I actually hold on to the piece of paper that I cut it out of and I tape it back together and then I use this as my pattern placement guide. So I position this until I get the placement that I want and then I put the pattern back in place and trace around it. So it's, you know, inexpensive in that you don't have to spend any additional money and if you don't sew often enough to, you know, that your patterns don't get that much wear, you might as well use this. So that's what I use. Um, and the second trick is how I was able to customize my own cloth pad patterns that I made by hand. Um, so this is a trick that I actually got uh, reading the, a review for Zool, Money by Zool website. Somebody mentioned that they use their own underwear to customize the cloth pad pattern. So that's what I did. So in my case, this is the pair of underwear that I like um, to wear during my period. So what I did actually was cut the side seams open and open the underwear up so that I could see exactly where the pad coverage would be. So basically like this. And then I took the patterns and I adjusted them until I got exactly the coverage I wanted. So in my case, this is um, an asymmetrical pad um, with a slightly wider flare in the back because I wanted to um, prevent, I find that a wider flare helps me run a wedgie. Um, good coverage in the front so that you know if any blood trickle forward it wouldn't leak off but not so wide that it would get crushed on the sides and also it's how I was able to manage my wing length because I really don't like wing droop so I wanted really short wings or rather just long enough wings on my pad so I was able to measure that and a couple you know tested a couple times to realize that this is exactly the length I needed to get the wings to just overlap once the pad was sewn up because this is a um, this pattern has seam allowance in it, so that's why it looks as if the wings are too short. Um, yeah, and I also think that this is a good idea when, I know a lot of people, when um, they start building cloth, a cloth pad stash, say for a younger person, a tween, um, who, you know, they're not sure what size to buy. Um, you know, just because you're a smaller person doesn't necessarily mean you need smaller pads, but your, the size of pad you can wear is definitely limited by the size of your underwear. So if you get your underwear out and measure front to back, then that's the maximum size you can wear. And then maybe take an inch or two off just for comfort's sake. And that will give you a guide of, you know, kind of what size underwear to get. And it's also really important to measure um, the width of the gusset because that will also give you a fair idea of how wide a pad you should get. So those are my two um, kind of random cloth pad sewing tips. I hope you found that helpful and please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.